let's take a look at verbal analogies. Verbal analogies are analogies that have words. The first type of verbal analogy we're going to look at is things that go together. Take a look at the example you see. Salt is to pepper. So let's think about how salt and pepper relate. Salt and pepper go together because often when you think of salt, you also think of pepper. Often found on your dining room table or in the kitchen or even on a table at a restaurant, you'll find salt and with it is pepper. So salt is to pepper, those go together. As bow is to arrow, bow and arrow also go together. When you think of a bow, you often think of an arrow. So in these verbal analogies, we're going to be looking at things that go together. All right, let's take a look at these pictures. So look at the picture here on the left, and then look at our three answer choices. We're going to decide which one goes together with the picture here on the left. So we have a seedling, a young or immature plant, and then we have a candle, a mature plant, and a key. Show me with your fingers if you think the answer is A, show me a 1. If you think the answer is B, show me a 2. And if you think the answer is C, show me a 3. So which of our answer choices goes together with our picture here on the left? The answer is number 2 or letter B. And that one goes together with the seedling because they are both plants. This is a young plant. This is a mature plant. They go together. All right, let's look at another one. Here we have an acorn. Look at our answer choices. We have a squirrel, spider, and a dinosaur. A stegosaurus to be exact. So let's think about which of the answer choices could go together with an acorn. Show me with your fingers what you're thinking. Show me a one for A a 2 for B, or a 3 for C? The answer is 1 or A. The squirrel goes together with the acorn because squirrels eat acorns. All right, look at this one. Here we have a phone. Look at our three answer choices. We have a nose, an eye, and an ear. Let's decide which answer choice goes together with the foam. Show me a 1 for A, a 2 for B, or a 3 for C. All right, the correct answer is 3 or C, which is the ear. You use your ear to hear what's being spoken on the foam. All right, let's try another. All right, here we have a bat, a baseball bat. So look at our answer choices. We have a basketball hoop, we have a ruler for measuring, and we have a baseball. So think about which of these answer choices goes together with a baseball bat. Show me a one for A, a two for B, or a three for C. All right, the answer choice is three or C, which is the baseball. You use a baseball bat to hit a baseball. All right, let's look at one more. Here we have milk. So let's decide which of our answer choices goes together with milk. So we have a diamond ring, a glass, and a fork. Show me with your fingers what you're thinking. Which of these goes together with milk? Is it one for A, which is the diamond ring? two for B, which is the glass, or three for C, which is the fork? The answer is two or B, which is the glass. You pour milk into a glass to drink it. Those go together. Other things go together with milk as well. Milk and cookies, milk and cereal. All right, those go together. All right, let's practice a little more. So typically, this is how you're going to see verbal analogies. You're going to see them just as words. So let's look at how this is read. 
It's peanut butter is to jelly. So your job is to decide how peanut butter and jelly relate. And I can even verbalize this. I can turn it into a sentence. So I might say peanut butter and jelly go together to make a delicious sandwich. Okay? And so whatever relationship the first two words share, then the third word and the fourth word, which is going to be our answer, are going to share the same relationship. So peanut butter is to jelly because they go together as needle is to blank. So show me with your fingers. Show me one for A, two for B, or three for C. Which of these goes together with needle? All right, the answer is two or B, which is thread. Peanut butter and jelly go together to make a delicious sandwich. Needle and thread go together to let you sew. All right, now, if you said sharp or sticky, you let the answer choices confuse you. Sharp does describe needle. Sticky doesn't really describe needle, though. Sticky is like glue or tape, okay? Not things that stick you. Things that stick you aren't sticky. So don't let them confuse you. The relationship here is things that go together. Peanut butter and jelly go together. Needle and thread go together. All right, let's try one more. Librarian is to books. So think about how librarian and books relate. You can verbalize it, turn it into a sentence. A librarian works with books as mechanic is to blank. So we can use that same sentence structure that we used at the beginning. Librarian works with books. Mechanic works with blank. So show me with your fingers what you're thinking. Show me a one for A, a two for B, or a three for C. All right, the answer here is three, which is C, or cars. A librarian works with books, and a mechanic works with cars. These verbal analogies were all about things that go together.